everybody. Welcome back. It's uh, Gina. I know it's been a while and I apologize for that guys, but life has just gotten a little bit crazy. But I did want to jump on here today. Um, I know I've had a lot of people contact me and make sure I'm okay. Everything's fine. You know, it's just, um, just other things have taken over. So that's why I haven't been uh, around lately. So Apologies for that. Let's just jump straight in. I wanted to share with you guys I've got some new items that I've added to my shop. So I am just going to set these to the side and I'm going to very quickly go through them in case you're interested. Um, <clears throat> I've got two of the plain December uh, dailies left in my shop. So when I say plain, they do have pockets. But I just have not embellished these um, as much as I would normally do my journals. But they've got lots of bits of ephemera. I've done hand-stamped tags. I've got some of the Tim Holtz little things. Um, so, you know, there's there's still been a lot of work that has gone into these. It's just I probably haven't embellished as much as I would because it, it, it is a December daily. I wanted to make sure that I left enough room so that you could add bits and, and pieces that you're collecting throughout the month of December. So if you want to see these more in, in depth, I will put a link below to the video that does show these, and you can check those out. So I've got two of those left, guys. Um, Okay, and this is a journal that I recently did with my patrons. We did it from start to finish, and this one is much more embellished, and I'm going to just show you the cover there. I just love how it's come out. It's got the Tim Holtz book plate, and then it's Hark the Herald Angels Sing. This is the side view. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about a five inch by eight and a quarter so it's a really nice size journal just one second guys okay had to get my little cough drop in because every time I start to talk you know my voice just gives gives out so again just full of all sorts of little stickers and things and still a lot of writing space but I have added more embellishments more handmade tags to this one. I just love this journal. I, I'm really pleased with how it came out. And it was nice to tackle uh, the stash of Christmas things that I've been gathering over the years. And I just had never gotten the time to actually do any of these. And so it was a lot of fun for me to be able to do this with my patrons. So very quickly I'm going to go through because I've got a lot to show you guys. Just all sorts of things. That's a, um, I think of like a fruitcake recipe. Some trim here. Little bells. I love to hear um, the bells in my journals. I just think they, they're really nice. A little um, paper bag there you can add some items to. A couple more hand stamped tags. And then just another plain tag there. I love this image. That's a um, <clears throat> some Christmas cards I used I think maybe two years ago and I had a few left. So I thought it'd be fun just to incorporate those. Another little Tim Holtz charm. Another thin pocket here with a tag. I love this craft uh, Christmas paper. Did some punching there along the edge. So I hope everybody's uh, keeping well. Very um, challenging times for everybody right now I know and um, particularly with Christmas coming up. So I hope everybody just um, is staying in good spirits through through all of this. Some stitching here. Um, Christmas <coughs> doily there. And again, just 
bits and pieces from some digitals, mostly um, scrapbook things that I'd had. I've got two pockets here, little labels, some of the um, shopping lists. I backed those together, so I thought that was a nice little bit there. And here's a little um, fold-out pocket here. Another pocket on the back here. And just several little tags. So it is all ready to go. And for you to start journaling and documenting, I've got a little shaker. And then a nice big journal card back here. And these are all <coughs> created from altered books. So I don't know if I said that in the beginning. Love how that journal came out. And um, it was just a lot of fun, like I said, to be able to actually finally start using some of my Christmas items. So that's in the shop for sale as well. I've got a um, tag journal. This is a foxglove, and then you've got some room back here to do some writing, <clears throat> lots of little tags and things throughout, a lot of trim, old trims. I love this. I love the colors in this. Just beautiful. This is uh, Artie Mae's foxglove kit, and it is just a stunning kit to work with. I've used this many, many times, and I, I, I never tire of it. The colors are just absolutely beautiful. Another little bit here. Here I took um, some of the Dazzling Diamonds and just um, added to that clock, cut it out, and then so it's got some raised, a raised image. And then inside here, I've just created this tiny little journal and that's got some um, muslin that's holding it together on the spine so you got some extra writing space there and that's just been tucked into this envelope and here we got a little glassine pocket and I've done a, a little window tag there So I'm sorry guys if this is kind of rushed. I just want to make sure that I've got time to get all this through. Another little tag here with a little stamped bee. But you know, I've got to have the bumblebees. It's been ages since I've done a bee journal. I think I'm going to have to do one soon because I am missing working with them. And then on the back here I did another little windows type um, tag. So that is in the shop for sale. And then this is a pocket size altered um, file folder flip book. So I've made a little belly band to hold that closed. And this is some fabric trim. And then so here, now this is another project I've done with my patrons on my patron channel. And the, if you're interested and want to know a bit more about that, the description, the link to my patron channel will be in the description box below. So if you open this up, we've got a vellum pocket here, and I've added some little um, lace, all sorts of little journal cards and tags. Those have all been tucked in there. This flips over, and you've got more tags and bits of ephemera that you could use in other projects. I mean, it's just it's surprising, even though it's a small project, how much it's it actually held. And then here, make sure you're in camera, um, this just flips up and this is a little tuck spot. I've tucked that there. I left this blank thinking that it would be a nice place to add a uh, photo. And then here we've got a couple of um, pockets with tags. And then we've also got two large tags up here. They've been tucked in. Very shabby chic this is, and I love it, love it, love it. And then on this 
<clears throat> Let me close that back there. Let me turn that a little bit. That's getting... Okay, so here I've done a stamped tag and added some more um, little journal cards here. And then this is a belly band that I've made with some fabric and bits of uh, scrap papers and, and so on. And then up here, <clears throat> we've got another little flip spot with another tag, another little stenciled journal card, and another journal card there. Those have been tucked in. I love how this came out. And then here, I've made this another little flip out. So you've got two more tags within here. And then this one, just a couple more. This is like little weekly planners that I've size down and so those have all been clipped together. I just love it. And another journal card here that I've stamped on the back and then this is all embossed. Just a fun little project. A great way to use up little bits of um, scrap. And as I said I've done a tutorial on my Patreon channel for how to make one of these. And uh, I think that everybody really enjoyed that project. Sometimes it's nice to do these small projects in between the large journals. Um, we all get a bit of burnout, I think, on the, the big projects from time to time. Okay, guys, I may have to cut this into two parts. I'm going to try to get this done. This is a, an altered paper bag. And I've just closed it with some sari silk. And so... You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets. And here we've got a, um, a journal that I made in the very back of it so that you do have some writing space in here. So I love how this has come out. And I also did a really large journal card there. So each of these I've got some little... Uh, vintage postcards that I've tucked in, little notebooks. So as I said, even though it's a loaded paper bag, there's still a lot of writing space here. Just some extra things that I've, um, bits of paper that I included, tags. I've got lots of little journal cards, tags tucked here and there. And I've used old laces and some new laces. So you've got pockets here and here. And then inside there's lots of... Um, this is a little envelope with another journal card inside. Again here, this one's absolutely full of just different tags and bits of ephemera. So they could be used in other projects as well. Another old vintage postcard. I rolled it um, file, like a mini file folder. Some fabric that I've um, collaged here with some paper. And then in here I've just got... Um, it's just full. <laughs> full of stuff. And then here... This is just a... Um, index card that I've stamped so you could do some writing on that. Another really old vintage postcard and then an altered guest check. And then another um, handmade envelope with another vintage postcard inside of this paper bag. And then here I've got another window um, house tag. I love that. love how that came out. And more journal cards. Just full. Full of them. And then on this one I made two pockets here with a couple of altered journal cards. And then again the journal you know, it's a very plain journal, but that's tucked inside there. Really love how this came out. 
<clears throat> got some lace here, and then I did a little um, safety pin inside of the um, the little butterfly there. So I'm going to stop at this point, guys, because I've got two. Actually, I'm, I'll try to get through these. These are this one's fairly plain, so I think I can get through this quickly. This is um, I named, named named this Irish Wishes. This is an old um, postcard, so I've just added the photo corners so that it can be taken on and off. And it does have some writing on the back, as you can see. But Again, just full of um, tags and bits of um, vintage. This is a... I think these were cigarette cards, these were, and I kept everything with the greens and kind of the Irish um, theme. So you got a flip there, and then just more little flips and pockets here that you could add a couple of things. And then it also flips over, and this is an old music sheet. Again, I won't take out everything. I'm just going to show you a lot of writing space, but still plenty of um, tucks and pockets for you to add some things. This is some of the Tim Holtz vellum coffee dyed paper in this journal. A little flip up here. Washi tape. And this opens up. You've got a pocket here. Another old, old postcard. And then these are old vintage um, train, I think they were train tickets. And that's the center of the signature. That <clears throat> This has been sewn in, but then I also added some twine. Here's another pocket. Another flip pocket. Uh, tuck spot there, and then some more bits of ephemera in that tuck spot, and then here is another flip down pocket, so you've got some writing space there on that journal card as well. Just a little envelope that I've clipped to that page, and again, another little bit of writing space tucked in that pocket. And one of the Tim Holtz uh, photo cards there. Okay, so there's that journal. And then the last one um, is this one. Now this is a full size. I think it's about eight and a quarter by six or maybe eight and three quarters by six inches, I think. And this is made from an altered, um, altering a file folder. So you've got a pocket here on the front, a glassine pocket here with a tag in it. So you've got two pockets there. And then just another pocket with several journal and tags, um, another paper bag, another altered um, this was a time card I made into a tag, and then I've got the little tag cut out like a um, <clears throat> mason jar. And then this is a doily. I've got the doily punch, and I've made that into a, a paper clip. So this can be moved throughout the journal, but I liked the way that I had held everything in, and it looks really nice. And then on this side, these couple of journal cards, another um, alteration tag that I've altered. Those are tucked in there. Doily. And then another uh, big pocket here. Another large tag. Little doily. Just an altered uh, mini Rolodex card pocket here. Some tracing paper. Another pocket here. And some trim, another pocket. So you can see there's a lot of writing space, still plenty of room for you to add uh, your own items to this. 
This is a tuck spot and a coin envelope, so you've got another pocket there. A couple of um, guest checks. <clears throat> Another stamped journal card and a large postcard journal card. This is another little envelope that I've just got paper clipped in there. A couple more tags, another paper bag here. Um, if you're wondering, this is Dreams Etc. kit. Um, I used a design for her. And uh, this is two pocket envelope there. I've done some decoupage with that with napkins that coordinated. So yes, I love <coughs> Jennifer's got some beautiful things. This is a um, coin envelope pocket and also a flip a little tuck spot there. <coughs> I love this kit because it's got so many beautiful colors in it. Pocket. Another pocket. Well, tuck spot really. And then another little envelope that I've clipped in. So it's a big journal. <clears throat> it's got a lot of um, writing space. Another little altered um, file folder. And another one of these paper clips as well. Flip down there with a the pocket, and this has been uh, this tag's been decoupaged. I love that. Love how that came out. So this is, you know, this one's got more <clears throat> going. This is another decoupage tag, and another glassing double pocket there. So this one's got more going on than the Traveler's Notebook. But there it is, guys. This is everything I've got in the shop right now for sale. So if you're interested, to hop over there and take a look. And I hope you guys are all well. And um, stay safe, and I'll be back very soon.